Breaking news! OG Contraband celebrating 200,000 streams back in the month of October. And, you know, they're starting to stack up and I'm starting to be more fully distributed. And I'm trying to get some idea of what's happening or where these views come from. Where am I being successful at? And it's hard to get a total, you know, understanding of that most of the time. And the more data you got, the better. But one thing I do notice is, one, October, that's when my World Music Tour recorder album came out. And look at that. Top countries, not the U.S., top countries are Indonesia and ne Nepal. And I'm over here on Spotify. Their programming's all so messed up right now. I can't log in to listen. I was going to listen to some Kanye West. Not because I like him, because I'm wondering, has he even come out with a good song in the last, like, ten years? I digress. You know, I'm at kind of a crossroads right now, and I can see that Spotify isn't the place where that recorder music is uh, happening because, you know, this is my top 10 most popular tracks. I would think being an instrumental, that would have a good chance of, you know, being successful. And I noticed, you know, not none of the tracks even come surface up here whatsoever. Even though Spotify tends to be the place for instrumental music, you know, that Nature Vibes has always been one of my top tracks here. One thing I wonder about, uh, people complain about new music being written for a recorder, like there's not enough for it, but then some a major artist who's one of the top recording artists in America uh, comes out with these play-alongs, and they're getting 40 views, um, let's see, 50 views... You know, combined with the fact that the recorder music isn't even getting on my top 10 list you know, on Spotify, I have to ask myself, do recorder players even deserve to have anyone making music for them? And I had to kind of laugh. Tom McDonald said he was spending eight hours on it, each song. Man, that's not even enough to, like, really get a good part down, is it? This album is off the charts. This album is perfectionist to the extreme, and I even think it rivals some really popular artists like the Salazar brothers, Randy Salazar, and those guys. I love the, them. I'm not trying to steal any of their thunder or anything. I'm at a crossroads deciding what to try to do next. And I, The other thing I wonder is, do liberals deserve to have new music made for them? Because... You know, look at these great songs like Another Republican Mass Shooting. Yeah, it's on my top list, but it doesn't even have a thousand. And nobody's using them in their TikToks. Maybe we deserve to lose.